Welcome once again to Douglas Abola TV, a station like no other, where we put punches straight up your face, no sugar coating, no editorial restrictions, giving you the real deal so you can deal with it. Now let's get on with it. There is a crisis in Kenya. There is a big crisis in Kenya. Right now we've seen uh, uh, the CS um, writing to the World Bank asking for uh, a loan um, money uh, to help run the government. Um, this is serious, people. This is serious. You saw this coming. You know, this, this has been going on in Kenya for years and years. And, you know, the citizens just look at it. I don't know if you feel um, powerless. Uh, you, you don't feel empowered anymore. You feel like you're weak. You can't fight the power. I don't know what it is going on over there or you've just been hypnotized to a certain level that you really don't care anymore. So, you know, you go by that quote, the Kenyan quote, which says, Bora Uhai. So anything else doesn't matter. So long as I'm alive and I can be able to, to go about my business, I'm fine. I don't care about anything. Well, that is not the right attitude to have because whether you like it or not, whatever you don't care about will come straight to your living room and even to your bedroom. So you have to care about these issues each and every day. You have to fight for these issues each and every day and find solutions that will last long and solutions that would actually help you and help the country move forward. Corruption has been a serious, serious bug in the Kenyan society. It has eaten away a lot of opportunities for development in each and every county and each and every area in this country. Uh, it has sustained um, a system whereby you have leaders who are, you know, they have impunity, leaders who develop um, a privileged uh, sort of mentality whereby they, they exploit, they abuse uh, their positions and with no consequence because it's a league, it's a club of corrupt individuals who support each other in each and every way and appoint each other in each and every position that is available in case they lose elections. So we have a system in Kenya that is corrupt, uh, that has depleted the national resources, that has entered into various agreements with uh, international bodies that the country itself, the citizens itself, even the media has no information about this. To know these contracts, what are these contracts stating? What are we giving up? What are we giving to these people so that they are funding us uh, or giving us this money? What assets and resources in our country are they targeting or taking? The Kenyan ordinary citizen has no idea. The only thing that he has, he has been sold is a term called development, a term called maendeleo. You're always told, wale awataki maendeleo, ni sisi ito tunataka kuleta maendeleo katika hii sector na hii sector kusaidia vijana, kusaidia wa mama wafanya hivi na hivi. That is the same conversation we've been hearing ever since the Kanu era. It's all about development. We are the people bringing development. We want to bring development. But this development does not really mature. And what is the cost of this development that you're bringing to us? Where is this money coming from? Who are you making deals with uh, all across uh, international waters to get this money to bring and do these developments that are not even done properly? And that money is actually lost through corruption by certain individuals who actually pocket this money, send it overseas to overseas bank accounts. Um, and, you know, the money stays there for as long as it can take until they're cleared or anything. All this money that has been stolen from Kenyans and all the dreams that have been stolen from Kenyans is something of a tragic nature. This is a national tragedy the level of corruption and the lost dreams and opportunities that have been stolen from the youth of Kenya is a national tragedy in Kenya and the people need to call it as it is neither the government that is in power neither the opposition that is actually supposed to be checking on the government is doing the right thing to fight this evil they've been compromised they work together. They've known the psyche of the Kenyan uh, electorate is that he will complain, but we shall confuse him with words 
infighting, pointing fingers, playing the tribal card, and all these things that they use together with comedians and together with musicians to confuse you and keep you busy gambling and drinking yourself to your death just to make sure that you forget what is happening and you move on to survive for another day. So they will definitely keep you poor so that they know they need to keep you busy looking for another job. They need to keep you busy hustling, running up and down, looking for another opportunity to eat or make bread for the day rather than focus on the issues that are affecting you and the issues that are affecting the country that they are messing up. This has been the situation in Kenya. And this situation has to come to a stop. The people of Kenya must stand up. This is the only chance you have. And I'm very passionate about this. This is the only chance you have to get rid of all these people. All the people in government right now, the opposition right now, get rid of all these people. Elect new credible leaders. People who have a track record. People who are honest. People who can be able to serve and deliver. Not just anyone. No, we are not talking about just creating an opportunity to elect anyone new. No, people who can come to you and show you that they have been in positions of governance, positions of leadership, positions that have been able to perform one, two, three, four, five. They have an honest track record. They do not have any criminal cases behind them. They do not have any scandals behind them. These are the people we should be able to create new opportunities for to transform this country and change this country to the country that our forefathers fought for so that we can be independent and pursue happiness. But we are not pursuing happiness in Kenya. We are not growing to be what we are supposed to be in Kenya. We've been robbed of that dream ever since 1963 to achieve the dream for greatness. It's been robbed away from us. And we have to reclaim that today. This is the time. There will never be another time. And I'll tell you this very clearly. You failed to do it this time. To rise up and say enough is enough. We want our country to move in a proper direction. And with new leadership. Totally new leadership. Make a mistake of electing the same leaders. That you have right now. Make the same mistake of electing the same leaders that you have right now, thinking that it's their turn to eat, thinking that, oh, these are the people we only know. Oh, we've been bribed. Oh, they've been supporting us. Oh, they've been giving us money in churches and all over the place. Oh, they've been buying buses here and there. Make a mistake this time, Kenya, and there's no turning back. I have seen this, and I'm telling you, from my heart. Do not make a mistake this time. Rise up now in a peaceful, popular revolution that we have had enough. The country is going broke. There is so much corruption. There is so much insecurity. There is so much crime. The country is actually falling apart in front of your eyes and there is nothing that you're doing. Rise up now. Rise up today. Stand for truth. Stand for what is right. Stand for justice. Stand for the constitution. Stand for the rule of law. Stand for morals. For once in your life, stand for what is right and do what is right. Forget about your tribe. Forget about your uncle. Forget about your sister. Forget about... Do what is right and elect the right leaders. New leaders, completely new. Do not elect the same leaders. I'm telling you, you're going to pay for it. And you're going to pay for it dearly. And this time, there'll be no turning back. I am very serious. This whole clique knows each other and they know how they operate. When you bring in a new system, they come in and they don't know how they operate. They come in with a mentality of doing good and they change the whole system altogether. But if you fail to do this, you're actually feeding the same system and they'll keep doing the same, same things to you and confusing you and bringing the country down. Because at the end of the day, what you have in the country 
These are not leaders. These are agents and probably agents from foreign governments, agents from foreign sources, agents for different individuals who are there not for you or to serve you or to serve the country. They're there to serve the interests of those people who put them there. That is what they'll do. They will serve their interest. And if that interest means bringing your whole country down, they will do it because they've already signed their name on the line. And if they fail to do that, they know their consequences. So don't follow these people. Don't elect these leaders. I'm appealing to you, Kenyans, elect new leadership. Leadership that is serious and leadership that will turn around the country. This is Douglas Ebola TV. Follow me on Douglas Ebola TV on Instagram, Douglas Ebola TV on YouTube. Subscribe and get on, hit the notification button. Let's continue this conversation for this is critical to the future of the country. Thank you very much.